I'm Somber T. I am enjoying riding my R7E in Japan. I think everyone loves R7. I love my R7. I'm going to talk about some things to keep in mind when running the R7E in Japan. Motorcycles with a displacement of less than 50 cubic centimeters are subject to strict restrictions. The maximum speed is limited to 30 kilometers per hour. And there is a strict police crackdown. They are catching small motorcycles and collecting fines. The maximum speed on a typical Japanese road is 60 kilometers per hour. Of course, there are places where the regulated speed is less than 30 kilometers per hour. The maximum speed on highways is 100 kilometers per hour, but you can't drive on the R7. I rode the R7 for 10,000 kilometers. At a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. That's a little crazy. Small motorcycles have rules that are unique to Japan. When making a right turn on a road with more than three lanes, you must make two separate turns. I'll demonstrate. There is a traffic jam. First, put the blinker to the right. Everyone else is turning left, but I'm signaling right. It feels strange. Continue into the intersection. Now, turn the motorcycle around. Wait for the signal to turn green. The engine is not working properly. Don't worry about it. Do you have such a rule in your country? When the displacement exceeds 50 cubic centimeters, this rule disappears. Even if it is only 1 cubic centimeter over. I am now driving at 30 kilometers per hour, the full speed limit. A lot of cars are overtaking me. It would be fine if I were driving on a country road, but this is a city. There are many cars in a hurry. I can't even make it to the green light. This is a two-lane road, so the way to turn right is the same as for cars. It is scary when there is a big speed difference with other cars. It is very important to be serious and follow the rules. But it may lead to an accident. When you bring your R7 to Japan, I recommend that you register it in the 51 cubic centimeters class or higher. The maximum speed will be from 30 kilometers per hour to 60 kilometers per hour, the same as a car. Of course, please make sure to bore up the engine properly. After stopping by a cafe, I went to a nearby shrine. Spring is approaching. Bye.